What is up everyone? Today we have this. It's the AMD Radeon Pro 7 uh, Workstation Graphics Card. And today we're unboxing it. Um, stay tuned for the next parts, hopefully, <laughs> in the series where I install it. Uh, and of course the drivers. Uh, well, that's kind of obvious. Uh, and do some benchmarking. That's like the third part. So you can tell this is definitely a genuine card because of the AMD stickers. Okay, Let's see what we get in here. What is that? All right, so it's a box in a box. Here we get what looks to be another box. And there, of course, the graphic card. Let's see what's in here first. You get some sort of bracket, which I'm not really sure what it's for. I've never seen that. And another sort of bracket looking thing. Oh, wait, it comes with instructions. Oh, um, those are nonsense. Warranty. All right, so not sure what those brackets are for. Uh, I've never had to install any brackets on a graphics card, but it comes with some adapters. So this actually uses mini display port, not the regular display port. So you're going to have to get some cables for it. And I'm going to link a few in the description, actually one in the description that I'm going to be using. So it looks like I won't be using any of these because I already bought the cables. So I'll put those aside. And here is what we are all here for. If I can get it out of there without breaking it. Let's see. Come on. Oh, here it is. And also, um, let's see. It is sealed in the bag. Yep, that's, a, that's the original sticker. Because you know about, if you know anything about computers nowadays, the graphics card market isn't exactly doing well. Okay, here is our card. Oh, wow. That, that thing is made of solid metal. Now that's cool. Here's the fan. It is pretty large. There is a protective film over here, so let's peel that off. Some of you may be wondering, hey, Captain Morris, why didn't you buy the, why didn't you buy the uh, 6900 XT from AMD? Well, none of them were in stock. That's the reasoning uh, behind me not buying it. None of them were in stock. Okay, here it is. So this is actually going to be installed vertically in the computer. I just think it looks good installed vertically. So that means this will be facing out, not down. So, yes, you will be able to see AMD Radeon in all of its glory. <laughs> it will be proudly displayed. So there's the card itself. I'll, ha I'll let you have another good look at it. Here's the front. Here's the side. There's some kind of connector here. I'm not sure what it's for. I'll have to read a little more about it. Here's the back. You can see this is obviously where the, the chip is. Um, I think these are power delivery, power management. And the RAM usually surrounds the card. And then, of course, here's the back of it. That's where you plug in everything. All your monitors. It can support up to six 4K displays, which is impressive. Um, also, you, you obviously knew I was going for a RTX 3090, of course, but they're not in stock. Um, this video will be a reminder to people, I don't know, 100 years later or something, I don't know, let's not think too far, maybe 10 years later, that graphics cards were a shortage during this time, and they, the prices were sky high. This one, uh, on, this one, fortunately, I got it at its original retail price of 1900 which is still very expensive for a graphics card. But, yeah, 
There's the card. I just did the unboxing. Let's see what kind of adapters it comes with. Mini display port to is that really mini? That is mini display port. To uh d to full size display port. Mini display port to DVI and mini display port to full display port again. What looks to be. So yeah, in total it comes with two mini display port to full display port and a mini display port to DVI. Okay. Seems reasonable enough, but uh, I'm gonna bring in one of the cables I bought to hook up to this card. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally grabbed three of them, but anyway, they're these ones. They support 4K, I believe. It's a DisplayPort 1.4, so that should support much higher than 4K actually, isn't it? This is actually a good chance to test something on this graphics card before we even put it in the computer. Are the ports too closely spaced? You know what I mean, right? Uh, the ports are put too close together. So I'm going to take out two of these cables and we're going to plug both into the graphics card. Hold on for a second. It's not really... We've got a new twist time. Okay, remove the plastic cap. And here is our graphics card. Remove it from here again and plug them in. So it actually looks like if you get these cables, they will fit all six of them. As you see, there's some distance between the two. I don't know, I was just doing this to check in case they were too closely spaced together. I had no idea when I bought it if they were going to be too close and if I bought the wrong cable. So let's stick this back in the anti-static bag. Throw it back in the box. And that's kind of the end of the video here. Um, I'm going to link these cables in the description and also the graphic card where I got it. So, I don't know if you want it too. You know what cables and card to buy. Well, at least recommended by me. Well, thanks for watching this part one. Uh, we'll get to part two soon.